All right, welcome back to Precast Chalk Talk. We are on job site today. Love these days. So behind me, you can see our crew just setting a beam. And we're standing on top of what we call a precast podium. So there's gonna be uh, residential apartment units uh, built above our deck of hollow core beams and columns. And so when you look down this stretch, you know, you can kind of see our crew measuring and setting what we call an inverted T-beam. Inverted because it's kind of an upside down T. So the, the hollow core is gonna be on the lead. Bringing in a beam. I got, we got Evan, Josh, and Steve here today on site. So they're gonna bring it down. One of the things that, that they're doing right now is uh, there's a little opening on the bottom where the pins are gonna go through. You can see on top of the column where those pins are, those threaded rods. On the bottom, we've got, we've got some tape that covered a, an opening that goes all the way through the whole beam, right? Plus, they're going to spin it, obviously, to make sure they get the right hand on the right end. So now he's using a crane signal. He's talking to the crane operator. You can kind of see up on the hill over here to our right. So that crane operator is looking for signals. When he's got a thumb up like this, that means boom, boom is up. So the whole boom goes up on the crane. And that's what he's doing. And then he's also doing his fingers like this to make sure that they're also pulling the line up as well as booming up. And now he's saying, okay, you're good. Hold on a second. So Steve and Josh on the ends are climbing the ladder so that they're gonna be able to align the beam and where it goes onto the columns. Got it, got it. Yeah. So they get it lined up center line. They're looking for where the pins are gonna go through those holes or tubes that we cast into the beam. You've seen some of those before. And then the signal, let the line down. So now he's gonna climb up, climb the ladder and and unhook now that that beam's in the right spot. Josh is tied off. He's got his lander down. Steve's operating from the, from the ladder, proper height. You got Evan eyeing everything from down below as a spotter. And away we go. So the guy set that. It's good. I'm standing between two, two big pillars here. I got Evan. I got Steve. These guys just, you saw them setting the, uh, the first beam. Ev, how are you? Doing good. How are you? Good day so far? Of course. It's Friday. Right. Steve? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Going good. That a boy. Uh, okay, so um, how many years now with Mid-States? Uh, I'm a little over two and a half. Two now. and a half. And you? Uh, I've been back for probably about four months, and it but was prior, seven years. Seven years, yeah, okay. Before that. So, you know, you got 10 years experience here. So, uh, coming to the job site, basically we look at what we have coming uh, load-wise. How many loads today? Uh, today we have 13 loads. 13 loads. So, I guess, all right, for example, I'll walk through you today. Um, John, the foreman that I'm filling in for today, he kind of walked us through, you know, a little bit about what today was going to look like. Yep. But started the day off, Steve and I and Josh all had a conversation, you know, just kind of established of what we're going to see today. We had four loads of plank coming in, but then we had to move our crane. Okay. And then after the crane move, we were going to set our beams in. But that was kind of the game plan we rolled with, but we got around to load four. Load four was running late. We had time, crane operator said we could move it, so we made, you know, on audible. We moved our crane right away to save time. Usually when we see big cranes like this, it's for reach. maximum reach, or yep. if we're having wall panels, big wall panels, you know, weight-wise. Gotcha. In this case, since we have a, this is a second story, we have to have the crane on the outside of the building, and where they have this, where everything is laid out on this job, we have to reach from Got quite it. a distance. Every job, we get a big set of prints. Um, we have them laid out over there. Okay. And then, all those big prints are broken out in like dailies. So we have little, you know, your regular piece of paper, it's a daily um, and it shows basically what loads we are getting in that, you know, that area specifically for the day. I hope you get a feel for the simplicity and the ease which these, these buildings go together and why Precast is such a super product. Um, making the product is one thing, installing it is something very different. And you can see the attention to detail that Evan and, and Steve and Josh are giving and how, how, how caring they are about not only the product, but most importantly themselves and, the, and their safety. Thanks for joining. Until next time, peace.